Hi everyone, this, uh, this is a tutorial that um, should show you how to use the Apache Cordova splash screen plugin in your Ionic Framework project. It works for Android and iOS. I, I apologize ahead of time if it sounds like I'm mumbling. I have a lot of hardware in my mouth from braces, but you can find any of the material in this video on my um, blog in written format as well, which I'll go ahead and include as a link. So to start things, let's go ahead and create a project from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and create a blank project on my desktop. This is all assuming that you have Ionic and Cordova all installed on your machine. So it went ahead and created a test project. So I'm going to enter that directory and I'm going to include the Android and iOS platforms. So as we can see, they've both been added to the platforms directory. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to add the splash screen plugin. So I've go ahead, I've gone ahead and already navigated to the Cordova website, and I'll I'll include this in the write up. But I'm going to go ahead and copy the the plugin repository, and I'm going to go ahead and add it to our project. And once we added it, it should show up in our plugins directory and of course it did. So now that we've installed the plugin we need to go ahead and add it to our project. So open up the config.xml file in the root of your Ionic project. Go ahead and open it with Sublime. Um, so lucky for us, adding it is a walk in the park. We can do it in just two lines. So these two lines that I added, the first one um, is a little tricky because in the Apache Cordova documentation for the plugin, it says to use a value of splash, but I found that that didn't work, so you have to use a value of screen. For the delay, um, it's it's in milliseconds, so I've gone ahead and made a delay of Three, three seconds, so the splash screen will appear on, on the device for three seconds and then display the actual app. So let's save this and we're going to go back to our terminal and we're going to go ahead and build it for Android. Again, this is assuming that you've already set up Android on your machine. So I'm using a MacBook Air. It's a little slow to build projects. All right, so it built successfully. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my simulator. I'm using Genumotion. Uh, it's, it's a great simulator, much better than the stock Android simulator. So now that that's open, I'm going to go ahead and install it to the simulator.
pretty quick. So with it installed, I can go ahead and find it. Again, this is just a basic project, so I didn't change the icon, and I didn't change the default splash screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click it, and there you go. We've got a splash screen, and it displayed for three seconds, and then it loaded our regular application. And if you click the back button, it doesn't go back to the splash screen. It just exits, and just to be sure, I'm going to click it again, and of course, it shows the splash screen. So with that said and done, let's go ahead and build it for Apple. And then to launch it for Apple, we can go into our iOS directory and open it up in Xcode. And I'm going to launch it in the simulator that comes with Xcode, it's, it's quite nice. And of course, there is our splash screen again. So as far as the splash screen um, images go, you can find the Android images in the resource directory. Um, all images will be in appropriate folders. So you have uh, landscape with the HDPI or portrait MDPI. You just go ahead and change all of these image files uh, with whatever splash screen that you'd like uh, to have. There's like six of them that you have to change. And then for the iOS splash screens, go into the iOS and then your project directory, resources, and then splash. And they're conveniently placed all in the same location. And that's really all there is to it. We've gone ahead and we've added the plugin in just two lines of code. And all that's left after that is, is updating the images with your own. And then you're good to go. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, go ahead and follow my blog if you like this tutorial. There are more to come. Thank you.